Our next speaker loves all things digital. <laughs> she lives and breathes social media and dreams in advertising terms. Please welcome Evelyn Chow. So let's start with this question. What is advertising? My favorite quote was, doing business without advertising is like winking at a girl in the dark. You know what you're doing, but nobody else does. Now, you might think such a cheesy answer came from this guy, Donald Draper. But that was way too 90s, 60s. But even until today, when you ask people what they think advertising is, chances are you'll get the feedback like this. Oh, advertising is just selling people crap we don't need, or people in advertising just sit around, do nothing, and eat and drink all day long. Well, with this may or may not be true statement, I still held my dream to become an ad woman. And on April 30th this year, my dream came true. Now, a lot of people think you have to be as an intern to step into the industry. Not me. I came from a corporate setting where the majority of my time is spent between traditional marketing like print catalogs to all things digital, websites, social media, emails. But now that I work in the agency, 70% of my time is actually just looking at charts and putting together analytical reports. So the level of depth is really, really different. The other variation is the amount of collaboration and cooperation you have to have with your team. You have account executives, project managers, partner agencies, and of course, clients. You learn how to listen, not just to hear. You learn how to speak, not just to talk. So next time you see an interesting campaign, remember there's a whole group of people behind it. Planners, account executives, and of course, analysts. We are a bunch of nerds who interpret and decipher big data to help our clients make sense of the past and step ahead of the future. So see, advertising is not just about fluffy poppies. We strive to deliver our clients' business with efficiency and then a return on investment. And how do we do that? We think outside of the box. Well, people in corporate might know their products inside out. People in agency really have to understand what consumer wants and need and interpret it in a different language. And in order to help us do that, our agency has these questions. How do we put together the most exciting Facebook ads now that you guys spend more than seven hours on that site alone? Or how do we make our product searchable now that there's 100 billion searches on Google alone? So we eat snacks. So creative people's blood sugar can remain high, and analysts like me can chew on those snacks instead of our fingernails. So <laughs> at the end of the day, we work hard, we play hard. As glamorous as it seems, working advertising is demanding. You always have to stay ahead of the game, know the latest technology, and are not to be afraid being challenged. So if you want to be the next advertising person, you absolutely can. And hopefully, my experience would inspire you. First, what is your story? And if you have a story, how would you like to tell the world? My favorite example is Lindsay Blackwell's Dear Lisa Rogers. I'm sure you've seen that website. It's very powerful. Second, think about the big picture. You want to be a planner, but now there's only an account executive's opening. Why not take it? People move around in this industry. You never know what's going to be down the road. Third, use social media wisely. And I mean wisely. You already spend so much time on those sites. Why not use it for some face-to-face -face interaction opportunity? And after you've done all these, you still have to have patience and perseverance. Send out another email. Set up another informational interviews and keep telling yourself there's nothing 
I cannot do. Um, my name is Evelyn, and that was my story. I would love to hear about yours, and I'm sure if I can do it, you can do it. Thank you so much for your time, and have fun for the rest of the night.